As I speak with you now, we've, we've, we've expanded the program to cover about 2.8 million children. We have about 20,000 caterers who, are, who have been engaged by the school feeding program. They also have cooks that they pay. So the ripple effect on the school feeding program is very huge. Well, now we are, we are training our caterers to tap more into our local foods. We are training them on safety measures. We are training them on health issues. We are training them on environmental hygiene. We are training them on how to be, be cook at a very cost-effective price. And we're also engaging the farmers because if you're able to tap into the farming, farmers and we buy their produce, we'll be letting them or gaining more economic empowerment. So it's a collective and collaborative effort between the Ministry of Gender, Ministry of Education, Ministry of Health, and even Ministry of Agri. So, so far, so good. Okay, so do you have other countries um, correlating with you or collaborating with you? No, we don't have countries collaborating with us now, but we have uh, the donor partners who are supporting us, and I would like to take this opportunity to thank WFPA. WFP, they've helped us so much to, in, in training um, our caterers across the country. We've been able to train about, about 7,000 caterers in six regions. We'll be moving to the other regions very soon. Today we have Sierra Leone here. We have the Deputy Minister of Education who led the delegation to come and learn from best practices. Because Ghana has been in this system since 2015. We've gone through the teething pro problems. We've been able to overcome the challenges. We are making a headway. We are moving forward. We are expanding the program. We are making it more meaningful. We are, we are training our caterers to provide quality food to our children. So I'm happy that uh, we have our, cho our brothers and sisters from a neighboring country, Sierra Leone, who have come to learn from us. I think um, it's, a, it's a very good thing for all of us as Ghanaians that people are learning, people across the West Coast, even across Africa, are learning from Ghana. Okay, so with the last person, with the school feeding program, school, schools in villages, um, how healthy is the food? Is, is everybody enjoying from this? You see, um, the school feeding program basically it's meant for the vulnerable children in our various communities, from those of us from the rural constituencies. Before the school feeding program, a lot of children were not going to school. When the school feeding program started, it has really enticed and motivated a lot of children to stay in school. And that's the motivation that we have as a ministry and as a government. Once you are able to affect the lives of other people, there's so much joy in it. So I will say yes, the school feeding program has really made a lot of impact in our communities, especially in the rural constituencies. Because um, the one hot meal a day is very good for some people who are in the poverty line and can't even afford that one meal a day in our various constituencies. You asked another question, I forgot. Yes, well, uh, is it healthy? Are they eating healthy? Yes, that's why we are training and retraining our caterers. Um, I would say that society is not static, it's dynamic. So you also have to be dynamic in whatever you do. Right now, we are moving into the constituencies, having engagement with them, and um, training them to tap into the local foods that they have in those, those constituencies. Um, recently, we were in Akachi in the Volta region. I was amazed at the different kinds of nutritious foods that they have in that region. We only know of the Abobitaji, Keta school boys, and Aboboy, and uh, uh, Yakayaka, but they have so many nutritious foods in that region. Likewise, other 15 regions in the country. And when you go to our constituents, you get fresh fruits. You got fresh you got beans, you got um, granules, you have everything is fresh.